What's the next topic? You, uh, I'm pretty sure okay. Uh, so you uh, short uh, shotty man with flair got a. Uh... What was he gonna say? No, <laughs> no, 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 because despite the question that I'm going to ask, and you know what I'm about to bring up next, I was actually going to, you know, put some serious tone I, I to I got this. You, and then I completely fucked that up. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm pretty sure you're talking but, about uh, Oboe in the neighboring town. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. All right. And since I work in said neighboring town, first of all, uh, just like when I was talking about this with my cousin, before I say this, I'd like to know what uh, what information you know. Um, that apparently he it was about it took him it took them about a week to find his body. Uh, he had gone missing on a, missing on a Friday, and he his parents had uh, call, uh, reported him missing. They said the last time they saw him, he was in a specific, um, he was in a very specific, uh, uh, apartment complex and his parents felt like he might be in trouble. Okay. And they, that was the last time, that was the last place they saw him. Like there was no, like, I don't know if they dropped him off over there, but yeah. Okay. And like the apartment they found him in was it it belonged to a woman and when i say woman i mean an adult female the the, the male in question who 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 was de the deceased in question was 15 years old now the woman whose apartment they found him in was a full-on adult because she had her own apartment and when they went looking for her she had moved away so when i heard that i was like okay so she is clearly an adult to have her own apartment and to like just be able to up and move you know especially while school is happening yeah so Apparently, the uh, again from what I've heard, apparently the uh, the reason they found out where he was, like apparently some people had started saying that they started smelling a smelly, smell it, smell it, smelly, and it was just a matter of hey, um, like a guy turned in the key to the apartment. The lady who uh, who owned the lady who was renting the apartment. She didn't turn it in. Somebody else did. And so, like, apparently this was, like, a good little minute later. And so after that, that's when they went in there. That's when they found him, which was, again, several days later. And apparently, like, he had been in there long enough to decomposition. Well, again, it was about a week. Uh, decomposition had taken place at the point they didn't know who he was. So, again, I don't know. And I, again, I don't know how much of that is true, but somebody was over here. Uh, talking about it, and then and she lives over there. So like when all of that was when, like when the uh, when all of that was happening, like on the street, she was there. She uh, like she saw it happening. So yeah, I that's all I know. Yeah, that's all I know. Okay, first, are you alright? Because you look a little warm over there. I'm, I'm the... hot. I'm hot. I am getting... Oh, yeah. Uh, I was about to say, you took freaking, your shirt off. Yeah, <laughs> but... That's the... You know... The, I'm dressed the, in the, all black. The freaking sweat over there. <sighs> Alright, so... Friday, you're supposed to have left with some friends. Him? And, yeah, and I, I believe supposed to have gone to that third neighboring town that you know manufactures the drugs and counterfeit money in people's basements man, you talking to me like i'm black i don't know what that means i don't know what what town that is steel that's what i figured <laughs> but i didn't know honestly I didn't know. okay well it's easily forgettable anyway not a forgettable i just didn't have that information about that city like, I didn't know. Oh, that yeah, was, you didn't see the paper that day. I didn't know that was a thing. I had never seen the paper because who the fuck reads the paper? I do, depending on who. The, well, th th that's the thing for me. Half the time when I read the paper is because one of my friends is on the front page for doing some fucked up things. Could like, something to brag about, I suppose, but okay. <laughs> no, no. It's like when uh, Shorty was in Shorty! the. Shorty! Okay. It's like when she was in. Yeah. And then, oh, yeah, when my neighbor was in the paper, I, I, I still have that somewhere. And then, like, one of my co-workers was in the paper because 
he apparently went on some Bonnie and Clyde shit with no Bonnie. Mm, so he just went on some nigga shit. He... Totally with the nigga, though. <laughs> See, I don't know how I respond to that, because he was white, and his crew was white, but the fact that he was the leader of a crew, I was like... Now, what the fuck do you do in your spare... I see what you do in your spare time. Man. Hold on. I'm gonna roll you for now. You seem to... Let me... You seem to know the stuff. Let me... Get off topic here and just point out that at one point... I was asked to help rob a fucking grave. To which I... Mm -hmm. To which I was like, you know what? No. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. And then I let him go. and Like you had options. No, it's just that I, <laughs> I say I let him go because when he went away, I had a question that I never got an answer to. How do you know that there's money in the grave? Well, it's, not, it's usually not a matter of money. It's usually a matter of, God damn it. It's usually a matter of like jewelry and shit. No, jewelry is the one thing he did not name. But he said explicitly there's money in it. He said there's was, money and something else. I want to say some like, China. If that's the case, yeah, he's but, a fucking retard. They, they usually don't bury people with that stuff. I know. That's why I was that's, like, how do you no know sense. that there's money and valuables in the grave? I don't. <laughs> I just hope there is. <laughs> Okay, so Friday allegedly left with some friends and went to steal. Because we got way off topic. Mm -hmm. And, man, there are so many different things that I heard before actually Get finding... to the point. So, well, yeah, because I got a question at the end of this. So, he's, like, filed as a missing person on, what, Monday? Friday. No. It had, it had to be at least, like, uh, Sunday. Because it only takes, uh, I think it's like 24, if it's either 24 or 42 hours before you It's 24 be... hours, but they went longer than that. Right, well, that's why I was saying, sure. because there was a point to it being Monday, he's known as a missing person. Because I went out Tuesday, and that was the first time I heard about the kid being a, a designated as a missing person. And it was all over Facebook. Mm -hmm. I'm all over Facebook the day before not seeing this with all these people on my friends list. So, this report wasn't done until, like, Monday or Tuesday. That's, like, straight up fact. Straight up gangster, sorry. What? And that's straight up fact because they were taking shots at the kid's family, but they actually had legit reason. I was say, given that he, he wasn't an, an adult, yeah, that's usually how that's supposed to go. If you didn't do what you, like... I hate to say it like, but that's the case. If your child goes missing and, and you're the parent, you're the reason he went missing. Because he was a minor. He couldn't even have sex with somebody who was 17. He was a full-blown motherfucking minor. Like, to say, like, I think he's in trouble. Like, why the fuck did you tell? let him go over there then? I can't, we can't make him not do you. He's 15. Hit him in the mouth. Come to his ugly ass in the fucking house. He'd be alive. There, but, I've, but I also heard that this family, in, in, in general, like no, no joke, uh, that this family is apparently uh, um, not all there. Okay, see, I was sitting here like, how am I gonna say this without sounding like an asshole? Everything you say makes you sound like an asshole. Okay, these people were slow. All right. Shh, asshole. <laughs> I see. I was gonna say all that now. Okay. Now, these people ain't all there. Okay. Which is why there was a lot of criticism for your kid went missing Friday. Uh -huh. You filed a report Monday. So for the entire weekend, I don't know, you feel like he's just kicking it with his boys or whatever. That's all fine and well, I guess. But, so... That's Tuesday for me. Because like I said, I spend the majority of my time between like... Oh, damn, I didn't get the last one? Shit. Now my Nintendo Wii, the gym, Facebook, and YouTube, and work. Got so, I'm not seeing this on Facebook until Tuesday, like I said. I didn't, keep in mind, I didn't see it at all. Because I stay away from that kind of stuff. Alright, well... Wednesday... 
Wednesday they find him. Mm-hmm. Now, which again is like a week later because he was he went last time he was seen on the uh, a uh, Friday. Yeah, so five days after he was last seen, he's found in this apartment that is allegedly not rented. And I say allegedly. Well, no, because... that's the thing. It well, it wasn't. Like it, it be- the the person that it belonged to, the story the story on the on, on the story on the block was that the person that it belonged to, was gone. She gave the key to somebody else. Yeah, but see, and told him to turn the key in. Yeah, but see, I'm leading up to saying that I talked to the guy that actually found the kid. Did you? What did he say? Yeah, that's that's later on. Because if I say that now, then it conflicts with the question that I have. Okay, so. Yeah, he's found Wednesday by some people. And one of the first things that said is that he knew about this group of people. He was with this group of people that was about to rob somebody. Well, there you go. And he wanted no part of it. Oh, good for him. Well, so, one of the... You would think that, but... Given where this went that led him. Well, yeah. So, one of the guys allegedly felt like, you know, he talked about snitching, so shot him. That was the first thing said. The, the first thing that was said was that some guy that apparently has a kid of his own mm-hmm. killed this 15 year old boy. Now, the second thing that was said was it wasn't a full-grown man that done it it was the one of the kids that was with him for whatever reason uh shot oh, shot the kid in, in in the head and left him in the apartment okay. so i actually run into the guy that found the body so the first of all this kid apparently had a history of smoking weed him and his friends had that apartment as their little hangout spot or whatever you want to call it. So these guys were smoking K2 in the apartment yeah, that's what I heard at this kept, time. I heard that kid getting brought up. So everybody's thinking this kid was murdered. And they're freaking out about it. Then we come to find out He's got a history of smoking weed, and his friend, him and his friends were all in this apartment smoking K2. Mm-hmm. Whatever happened to him, long story short, the K2 is what did this, and his friends had more or less two choices. Either we see this happening to this guy, and we get him some we help. help. or we run away. Yep. All right. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Uh, next episode, he has a question pertaining to all of this. I'm going to force him to ask it.